going on everyone? It's Brandon with Jacoji Fine Jewelry, short personal jewelry. In this video, we got a special collab with Leaks Resale in the house. It's just big me. Thank you, Jacoji, for the hospitality, but I have to make a review and tell you guys why we might have a chain that's better than the heavy link. With that being said, let's get started. This chain ain't better than the heavy link smash. If the Jacoji Link and Heavy Link had a baby, it'd be this style chain right here on linksresale.com. These are brand new, never been worn chains, and I am here today to review them and show you guys what they are looking like. I got the 5 mm 22 inch around my neck. We own both companies, Links Resale and Jacoji.com. Links is a company we started to mainly buy and sell secondhand jewelry to everybody. So if you're looking to sell some pieces, email us. But also, we have never been worn domestic items that are not purchased from Italy. So the labor, the price per gram is cheaper. This is a new chain, the cable link that we are now offering. So here's the review. Across screen, we got all the cable link sizes that we are now offering on Links Resale. Com. Under the drop down, the never been worn, because like I said, these are brand new from the factory, never been worn items. Yes, we specialize in trying to resell used jewelry, but we have new jewelry on there as well to push the Lynx brand and name out there and offer competitive pricing for these domestic items. So you could see there's a lot to look at here. I want to try some different options on to show you guys what they're looking like. But the main question I know I'm going to get is what is the difference between the cable link on Links Resale and the heavy link on Jacoji.com? So let's tackle that one first because there is some slight differences. Number one, we got the four millimeter cable link on the left and the four millimeter heavy link from Jacoji.com on the right. Now, both of these are cable links. If you get a chain and most of the industry is going to know these as some sort of variant of a cable link. Very basic, straightforward chain style, but we got the heavy link years ago, introduced on Jacoji.com. And as you guys know, there's a lot of pretenders out there trying to sell this exact chain with the brand and everything that we have already introduced with the heavy link. The heavy link is tighter links. They are heavy, AKA heavy links. So it has to be a tight, heavy chain. I'm not going to go on links resale and label these a heavy link because they're not. They're not the heaviest of the links possible. That's what's on Jacoji. And if you could see the style, it's more gappy as far as the uh, domestic links resale uh, cable link versus the four millimeter heavy link. The heavy link has tighter, slightly thicker links, just gives it more gram weight. Are either or bad? It's a preference if you want something that offers a look but cheaper as far as the price per gram, the labor, and overall weight, then the domestic links resale might be your best bet. And also, a big difference is the end caps class. The links resale has the same kind of fittings that the Jacoji link has, where it's just a jump ring connected to the lobster class. I personally like it. And then the heavy link has the traditional fold over end caps with the lobster clasp. So those are the difference there. I don't see any negative between the two. I know a lot of people with Jacoji links, when we launched them, people didn't like these end caps. But to me personally, I own Jacoji links. I love it. I wear my bracelet daily, same end caps and never had an issue. So I don't think it's a durability issue. The best manufacturer in the world makes the Jacoji links, so it's not a manufacturer or a cheaper option. It just is what it is. I think it works good. Either one, it is preference. I just switched it to the four millimeter 22 inch cable link. I think this is gonna be the most popular size. Look at the subtle everyday look that it gives me. Super easy to wear. Let's go turbo mode and show you guys how these are looking like. I paired the 2.3 millimeter, the small size, with a mini St. Christopher pendant that is extremely popular on Jokoji.com. Um, you could see that mini size looks a little bit overpowering to the 2.3 millimeter cable link. So you could go even smaller as far as the pendant size. And please keep in mind, they do look bigger on camera. When I was doing these B-rolls, I'm like, why does the mini look like a large? It is smaller in person, but overall, the 2.3 and the 2.7, they don't have a necessarily heavy feeling to them. They're kind of more on the lighter side they're not hollow they're not hollow they're solid but just because of the gaps and everything i'm used to chains being a little bit more heavy 
in the hand compared to these, especially the 2.3 millimeter. So if you want something that's easily worn and you don't really feel it or get in the way, this is a good option. Simple, but because it is solid, it is a good durable chain to wear no matter what the width is. Next we have the, I want to show, because I'll get a lot of questions side by side between the 2.7 and the 3.2 cable lengths. So there you go, slight difference between two, not a huge difference, but again, when talking about weight, when I put the 3.2 in my hand, I start really kind of feeling that heavy link style chain that you appreciate with the 3.2. So the 2.3, 2.7 feel on the lighter side compared to when you put the 3.2, you kind of start feeling that dense, gold weight that I personally love to feel. We have a 3.2 millimeter with the mini oval St. Christopher and I put these at 22 inches. Um, I personally like 20 inch with pendants but I want to go with the classic 22 inch to show you guys what it's looking like. Great pairing here, a mini size, easy to wear overall and I want to make a follow-up video as to why I think the style the cable link or the heavy link is one of the best chains to pair with a pendant because as you can see these B rolls are going next is the four millimeter that I'm currently wearing with the standard size oval mirror which is slightly bigger than the mini obviously and you could see that pairing works out very well you could throw on the mini size with the four millimeter and it'll look just as good so it's a preference as far as how much presence you want your pendant to have i just want to show you guys a little some next is my favorite i love it is the five millimeter 22 inch with the standard solitaire Boss Cross. I love the five millimeter size. If you are thinking about getting one of these chains and you want a bit more presence or you have a standard size, a one and a half inch pendant, it could be bigger. The five millimeter is perfect. Literally, I threw it on and I was like, yes, this is my favorite setup by far. And I like subtle pendants and chains, but the five millimeter cable link, in my opinion, is the best size overall i really like it so there's a few different looks for your guys's reference now the big question is why go cable link versus heavy link it just depends i think both are really good options i love jacoji and i love links resell i'm up here looking like a blueberry for this company so it depends on what you want to do links resell these cable links are much cheaper per gram because the labor is not as expensive compared to the Italian made ones that Jacoji stocks. I showed you guys side by sides. I'm speaking highly of them, so it depends. It's not like this is a worse option. It is a very good chain. Honestly, one of the best finishes, even compared to the Italian made heavy links. These are extremely clean, very shiny, good polish, everything about them. You guys have seen all about the cable links, so which one do you go with? It depends which one's in stock, which one do you want to shop with? Do you want the Jacoji box? Do you want to try links out? And then just go from there. But the pricing with these cable links and the Miami Cubans and all the other never been worn items we are bringing is gonna be unbeatable compared to the rest. So we're offering them at a very competitive price. If you want to resell your used jewelry, please email us, go to linksresell.com. We have a form you could submit. And if you want to purchase one of these never been worn cable links, you're definitely gonna enjoy it. So that's it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think of the new Lynx resale cable links. So we'll see you on our next jewelry video.